Let me trot out one of my recent uh, favorites, which I devised to uh, jangle the nerves of neuroscientists who've been going around saying that neuroscience shows that we don't have free will. I think their reasons for saying that are ill-considered, and moreover that what they're doing is apt to be mischievous and doing some real harm. So I concocted a little thought experiment, a little intuition pump to suggest that. So this is the, the case of the nefarious neurosurgeon who treats a patient who has obsessive compulsive disorder by inserting a little microchip in his brain which controls the OCD, the obsessive compulsive disorder. Now there is such a chip. Uh, uh, it's been developed in, in the Netherlands and it works really quite well. That's science fact, but now here comes science fiction. So the neurosurgeon, after she's operated on the guy, sewed him all up. So okay, your, your OCD is under control now, you'll be happy to learn. Uh, but moreover, our, our team here will be monitoring you 24-7 and we're going to be controlling everything you do from now on. Uh, you'll think you have free will, you're think, you'll think you're making your own decisions, but really you won't have free will at all. Free will is an illusion that we will maintain while controlling you. Goodbye, have a nice life. Sends him out the door. Well, he believes her. She had a shiny lab and you know, lots of degrees and diplomas and all that. So what does he do? Well, he, thinking he doesn't have free will anymore, he gets a little self-indulgent, a little bit aggressive, he, a little negligent in how he decides what to do. And pretty soon, you know, by, by indulging some of his worst features, he's got himself in trouble with the law. And he's arrested and he's put on trial. And at the trial, he says, but your honor, I don't have free will. I'm under the control of the team at the neurosurgery clinic. I say, what's this? And they call the uh, neurosurgeon to the stand. They say, did you tell this man that you were controlling his every move? He didn't have free will? And she says, yeah, I did. Yeah, But I was just messing with his head. That was just a joke. I didn't think he'd believe me. Now, right there, I think we can stop, take a deep breath and say, well, she did something really bad. That was, that was really, she really harmed that man. In fact, her little joke telling him that actually accomplished non-surgically pretty much what she claimed to accomplish, accomplish surgically. She disabled him. By telling him he didn't have free will, she pretty much turned his free will off and turned him into a morally uh, incompetent person. Now, if we agree that she did a bad thing, if nobody recommends people play jokes like this, what are we to say about the neuroscientists who are telling the public every day, we've shown in our neuroscience labs that nobody has free will? I think if the neuroscientists recognize that what my imaginary neurosurgeon did was irresponsible, they should think seriously about whether it's irresponsible of them to make these claims about free will. And it's not just a fantasy. Vos and Schooler, in an important paper which has been replicated in several different ways, set up an experiment really to test this with uh, college students who were given two texts to read. One was a text, they were both from Francis Crick's book, The Astonishing Hypothesis, and one was uh, um, not about free will, and the other was about free will, and basically it said, free will is an illusion, um, uh, all your decisions are actually uh, determined by causes that, that uh, uh, neuroscience is investigating. You don't have free will, that's just an illusion. All right, so we have two groups, the, the group that read that passage and the group that read another passage from that book of the same length. After they've read the passage, they are given a puzzle to solve where they can earn some money by solving it. And the experimenters cleverly made the puzzle slightly defective, so there was a way of cheating on the puzzle uh, that was, oops, inadvertently revealed to uh, the subjects. And guess what? The subjects 
who'd read the passage where Crick says free will is an illusion, cheated at a much higher rate than the other ones. In other words, just reading that passage did have the effect of making them uh, less concerned about the implications of their actions. And just, they, they became, as it were, negligent or worse in their own decision making. I think that's a, a, an important and sobering thought. <laughs>